This is the sports world. We're still talking sports. Uh, coronavirus is affecting everybody. That's why there's a need or there's an essence for us to talk about uh, the, the need for us to stay home. We are drumming this home that you need to stay home. Please, your life is very, very much important. So you need to stay home. This program is live on DSTV channel 362, Go TV channel 175, or on our Facebook page at TV Africa GH, and also on Satellite TV. I am the Dennis, Dennis Susay Genfi. My Twitter handle is at Senior Dennis. Uh, now my guest joins me in the studio. I'll introduce him at this point. Uh, he was part of the Ghana Under 17 team that won silver medal in Gabon 2017, and also part of the India, uh, the squad that played in India, that played in the quarterfinal, the Ghana Under 17 team, the Black Starlets. His name is Bismarck Owusu Terry. Bismarck, good afternoon. Thanks good for afternoon, joining me. Uh, how are you keeping safe from coronavirus? Yeah, this, this pandemic is uh, very serious. So we, we are all. This must speak like. We like, are all uh, quarantining uh, ourselves. On the, food, the things you do on the food, speak like that for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so how are you keeping safe? Yeah. I the disease is, uh, the virus is very dangerous, so we are all quarantining ourselves and we are all at home, making sure that we will not attract the virus. So you know, you know about the protocols to follow yeah, in this yeah, period. Yeah. Tell me some of them. Yeah, to wash your hands regularly, to use sanitizers, and also cover your mouth and your nose. Mm. And make sure you don't shake hands, you don't get contact with anybody, keep distance from another, the other, each other. Social distancing. Yes, sir. And most importantly, staying home. Yeah, yeah. Stay right home. now, there's no football, so you have to stay home, right? Of course. You have to stay home. Yeah, I'm always at home. I just do my personal training and things at home. You don't train with other people, do you? No, no, no. This virus, you mm. go and train with other pe the, the other person. You don't know who is having the virus. Yes. So if you get close to another person, you see, football is a game of contact. Mm. And also, you, we sweat a lot. So if you get in contact with someone who, who is having the virus, then you are obituary. <laughs> I'm glad you are aware of all these uh, <laughs> safety precautions. And so that's my guest this afternoon, Bismarck Owusu Terry, a national star, uh, a, a silver medalist with the Ghana and the 17 team. He's going to tell us about his career and how Corona has affected football and uh, uh, other things. But like, Bismarck. Yeah. A national icon, people know Bismarck, some of your friends know you. For, for yes. some who do not know you, we only saw you in the national team. Who is Bismarck yeah. Terry Owusu? Yeah, Bismarck Terry Owusu is a football player. Not the American football, mm. but a soccer player. Mm. And uh, I've been in the game for quite a long time, since I was a kid. I started from Kumasi, I played for a certain club, the coach is called Miller. But the teams keep changing the name, so I, I don't know the name to use for oh. club. And, uh, I moved to Connect Babies, which is owned by Malam, like Mohammed, but mm. we do call him Malam. Then from there, I played just a, uh, one season, and I moved to Accra. Then from Accra, I joined Medina Manchester, and from there, I joined Mandela Soccer Academy. So from Mandela Soccer Academy, then I moved to the national team. Oh, okay. Yeah. How did you enter into the national team? Yeah, in the first place, uh, I'll give thanks to uh, my coach, Coach David, Coach David Amoa, uh, he, he played a very key role in my entrance into the national team, and uh, Mr. Kukuyanka mm -hmm. as well. They, they own the Mandela, Mandela Soccer Academy. Okay. So when I moved there, they were playing some friendly matches with uh, the national team, and Paco Fabian also, shout out to Paco Fabian. He, he was also coaching the national team as well as Interallies. So we do play match with national team and also play with inter allies. So he, he, he saw me over there and he requested for my, my appearance in the national team. And That's the, Coach Parkwesi? Yeah, Coach Parkwesi Fabian. So you didn't have to pay for no, no, no. anything? I played on the field and Parkwesi Fabian saw me mm. and told my coaches that he wants to invite me to the national team. So I come and try. Then when I went there, God being so good, it went through for me. So I'll come to the stories we hear about the national teams. But about your education, did you mention anything about your, 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 your education life? Where did you start school? Okay, or? I started schooling in Kumasi, uh, a village called Chapatre. Then I moved to Accra to continue. Chapatre, you call Chapatre a village? Yeah. I know Chapatre. You know Chapatre, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So from there, I moved to Accra. Then I came to Delcom College at Adenta. Delcom College, okay. College, yeah. And so, I passed through uh, Vision, uh, Vision C Academy. That was uh, GHS. 
I, I passed through it. I didn't complete over there. Like, I just passed through then. I came to the Camp Kali. Mm, okay. So uh, that's... The reason why I passed through uh, Vision City was that the academy that I played for, Mandela Soccer Academy, all the players were learning over there, so I also went there. So let's get back so. to the national team call-up. In, in that justified, you play, you were the only player called from the Mandela Soccer Academy team? No, uh, we were four. We were four in numbers. Then uh, we, all the four players played in the qualifiers. That is Mohamed, uh, Adams Gago, uh, the nephew of Mohamed Gago, mm. then Patmos Ahin. He's in Turkey now, and uh, Kwame Aziz and I. Mm. So we were four. We played in the qualifiers. So after the qualifiers, when we were going for the AFCON, uh, Adams Gago was dropped, and the three went. Then after the AFCON, the, the Patmos was also dropped, and it was left with I and Aziz, Kwame Aziz. How was the feeling the first time you were called into the end when you went home? How did your family, <laughs> uh, I mean, welcome you back home? It wasn't really easy, is? but I, I, like I felt so proud of myself that hey, so all that that I was doing, so like it would take me somewhere one day, because I remember uh, when I was going, my coach told me that oh those over there you can play with them like you know the national team, mm. they are good. And when you are going there, you have to be also superb. So when I was going, I was a little bit scared because <laughs> I know maybe like wearing the national team. Did you believe that you have to pay to enter the national team before you were called? <laughs> that was what they were saying. People were saying around. It was so you believe, in, you believe that? Yeah, I also believe so that. So you never imagined yourself playing I for the national Because never. You, you didn't have the money to pay or never. you didn't have the money to pay? No, I never had the money. I never thought of even going to the national team. You never thought of that? Well, what I was dreaming of was that I know Ghana, we have a lot of players mm. outside and inside the country. So, I, like, <laughs> I told myself that, okay, if God will, and I get the opportunity to travel outside, maybe I'll naturalize for <laughs> the, the country that I get myself to. Because Ghana, we have a lot of talent here, and I don't know if I can make it to the national team. So you never thought of playing in the national team? Growing up, what was your goal as a footballer? My goal... Every footballer in this country, Ghana, mm. as I'm talking to you, has a goal of traveling outside. Definitely. But you didn't care about the national team? No, no, not really. You know you, you know you need to play for the national team in a maximum a, a number of games. To, for instance, play in the premiership. Are you aware of that? You have to play yeah, for yeah, a certain yeah. percentage of games yes, to I'm play aware. in the premiership. And almost all our top talents played through the national team to get the, to where they are, Stephen Appiah. But okay. you never thought of playing in the national team. No. But you wanted to travel It's not outside. only the premiership that they play football. Spain too. So where do play, you want to travel to? Uh, Which country do you want to travel to? For me, <laughs> I want to be in Spain or Germany. That was my, my Which dream teams? country. Uh, Which Barcelona, <laughs> the first club. And after that, Antoine and Frankfurt too. You are a Germany. defender. Yeah, I'm a defensive midfielder. A defensive midfielder. midfielder. Yes. So who do you look up to? I, uh, I, yeah. I look up to Sergio Busquets. Sergio Busquets. Of course. I've heard David Luiz. Uh, yeah, David Luiz too. Uh, at first, like, I watched how he played, and I admired him a lot. And I, I was dreaming to become like him. But as a Barcelona fan, and, uh, like, I always watch Barcelona. So when I, I compare Busquets to uh, Ser uh, David Luiz, I see the difference that... Sergio Busquets is far ahead, mm. better than David Luiz. Okay, so you didn't play in the qualifiers. I for played the in the qualifiers. Did you play in the Afghan qualifiers? Yes, I played ag against uh, uh, Cote d'Ivoire. That yeah. was the only game you played. The only and in the Afghan proper, away. when you won silver, how many games did you play? I played four out of five. Four out of five. You I got injured on my head. So I missed one you match. You saw that ban on yeah, uh, the that game. famous ban on your <laughs> head. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether it was a blessing from God or what? Because when when I got that bandage, that was when people started seeing me. Mm. Because what I was doing earlier, like no one was even my me. colleagues were asking me, ah, why don't they allow you to play? Why don't they allow? You? And I told them, I have been playing, um. so you don't know me. So later, because we were having Ousu, two Ousu in the uh, national team, the name at the uh, back, so mine was B Ousu, and the other guy was K Ousu, Kinsley Ousu, mm. and Bismarck Ousu. So they also became two. So when I was playing, that guy's family was also happy that was he was him. playing. Oh, okay. 
So later, they saw the bandage on my head and they realized that, no, this is oh, right. the that I know. Okay, <laughs> I see. I see. We will, we will talk more about the Bismarck Terry who, who did so well in AFCON and looked promising. But I don't know if, you're, if you feel your career has been stalled or you think there's, there's more room for improvement because most of your colleagues are outside playing and okay. now you are even struggling for a team. So we'll come and talk about that. This is the sports world. I have the Dennis, Dennis Osage MP. I'm in the studio with Bismarck Ousi Terry, a former Black Starlets player. And we'll go for a quick break. We'll be back and uh, the discussion will continue. All right, thanks for staying. This is still the sports world. You're live on DSTV channel 360. You go TV channel 175 on uh, Facebook at TV Africa GH. Unfortunately, I'm unable to take your messages this afternoon, so I can't ask, but I will activate the phone line for you to call and also make your contributions on the show. I'm in the studio with uh, Bismarck Terry Ousu, and we're still talking about his career and what has happened to him so far. So you were, you were talking about the AFCON where you won silver. You played in four games. Yeah, four and, out uh, of five games. Four out of five games. And also in India, you played in, in two games. Two, two out of five. Two yeah. out of five. That one, too. I, was, I got injured as well. Same head um, injury? That one, it was knee, a knee injury oh, against okay. Niger. So that prevented you from playing the rest of the games? Of course, yeah. Oh, okay. So after that, how did it change your career, the, the, the international call-up? Uh, the national call-up... <laughs> It's a, it's a big platform for every footballer. I wish every footballer would get the opportunity to play in the national team because it gave me a lot of exposure. And after the, after the tournament, the calls that I've been receiving, the motivation that I've been getting and things, mm. I, I, I saw that yeah, the national team is a big platform. Did you get clubs calling at your door? Of course, so many, mm. so many clubs. So many clubs. But... It's not any club that calls that you have to move to. Sometimes you need to put it on a scale and weigh it, the one which is good for you. And, or sometimes too, uh, you can go to a club, it's a big club, but you will not succeed. But some, someone might start from mm. the smaller club and later become a big so club. So after, after the tournament, after the World Cup, yeah. which club did you join? Uh, after the World Cup, uh, I moved to Karela. Karela. Yeah, but there was a little a contractual issue. So but why would you prefer Karela over the foreign clubs? I mean, there were a lot of foreign clubs yeah. looking for your signature. By that time, I, I was having a managerial issues, so I couldn't do, uh, go. Mm. Yeah. Do you feel your career has been stalled? Looking at the exploits some of your colleagues are making. Mohamed Kudu is now... Yeah. who was part of the team is now in the Black Stars. Yeah. Uh, your captain, Aya, is yeah. in, in Monaco. Monaco. Mohamed Aminu in Manchester yeah. City. Uh, quite a few of them are, yeah. are making exploits in Europe. And you are here. You are, I hear you are clubless. Confirm that to me first. You are yeah, clubless yeah, now. yeah. I, I was playing for Legon City FC. Were you consistent yeah. this year? Have you been consistent? No, not really. Uh, I played in the first game and uh, against Liberty. In the second game, I was among the 18 man squad against Kotoko. Mm. Then that was the, the game that yeah, I was involved. Do you feel your career has been stalled? No, not really. Just that <laughs> life is sometimes <laughs> unfair to some people. Mm. But so some life has been unfair to you? Of course. Life has been unfair to of you? Of course. Why? Because if you look at, if you watch the tournament that we went to play and the kind of name that I made in that tournament, no one expected me to be here at this moment. To be here and clubless. Were you of complacent? Course. Of course. After that, did complacency set in? Like you felt like, oh, you were a star, and so you didn't want to, you didn't train hard, and you didn't oh, no. work hard? Not really. But uh, after the tournament, I was still going for training. I was doing my personal, and I was training with John Pinsel mm. at that time. And John Pinsel is a former blaster player. So if you are working with John Pinsel, I don't think you can joke or you can do anything mm. apart from working hard. So I was working with John Pinsel. So, and, uh, so does it make you feel sad? No, really. No. But How some, old are you now? Yeah, I'm 19 years. 19? Yes. 19. I'll be 20 this October. So this what October. motivates you in, 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 in the midst of all this? Yeah, if it, it, when, when I was playing for okay, the um, um Sorry, I'll come back to okay. that question. Keep that. Yeah. Try to remember that. I'll come back okay. to answer that. And 
All right, so I will announce that my phone line is active. I was picking a phone call, but I, I understand that I've lost that caller. So the number is on your screen. Uh, you can pick uh, the number, dial the number, call and join in the conversation. I'm talking with Bismarck Terry Owusu, uh, who feels sad that his career, uh, he feels that his career has been uh, stalled. Uh, he feels, you, you are talking about, feel, yeah. do you feel sad? I asked, but I, Yo, you feel sad. I don't feel sad. Uh, what motivates me a lot Okay, is so can we pick another caller? Um, uh, I understand another caller is on the line. Baron, uh, Baron, yeah. where are you joining me from? Uh, good, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Thanks for joining me. Where are you calling yeah. from? Uh, please, what I want to say is about the coronavirus. Okay, you want to talk I about coronavirus? I want to stay home. You know, if you are not going you know, to do anything outside, what I would plead is you just have to stay home and, you know, take the precautions serious. Okay. Because as the president said, all right. We have to each one for himself, God for us all. True. So, you know, we have to wash our hands. But what I want to say and plead also is those that are doing the fix and tidy. I think we just have to caution them because this is very serious. And it's a very serious issue because when you apply some tiger on your hands mm. and you are working, you think that, oh, at least I'm, I'm, I'm a little free or mm -hmm. I'm a little bit safe from this coronavirus. But maybe okay. the tiger may be sick. All right. It Thank will you. be a, a very big blue to us. And the question that I want to ask Terry is, you, want to you ask know, him? after the under 17 tournament, okay. you know, like, he was at Oregon City, right? Yeah. But, you know, he said something that he terminated his contract. I mean, I just don't know the reason why he terminated the All contract right. and what's the way forward for him right now. He, he will talk about that. Um, he wants to also find he, out from he, you. Um, you know, he said he went to Germany. All he right. Did this, he did okay, this thank you, uh, Baron. You um, know, what is the way forward? All right, so he will address that. Uh, he wants to find out from you uh, what happened, why you terminated your contract with Legon Cities, and the way forward for you. But you, you were answering a question before this. Uh, you yeah. answered this one. So, do you feel sad? No, I don't. How feel your sad. career has pan out? No, I don't feel sad because when I was playing for Legon Cities, and I look at the people that I was playing with, and even when we go into a match, and I see the players that are playing. I see that I'm still young mm. and I don't need to rush in life. Mm. I have to take my time and work hard so that I can so achieve what I... You are self-motivating yourself that you can still get back into the national team. Yes, of course. Play and get back into the national team. I'll pick another call, but we'll answer the Logan Cities, uh, what happened at Logan Cities and all that. Uh, Michael is joining me from Spintex. Michael, good afternoon and thanks for joining me. Afternoon, you're welcome. All right, so you're live. Let's hear from you. Yes, uh, I only want to be encouraged to uh, tell him all those who are uh, has been consulted or has come to play. And I don't think that would be the end point. And I think uh, the only opportunity. Is Michael, your line is not clear. Play. I cannot hear you. Uh, Hello? Uh, yeah. Is it okay? All right, yeah. Yes, I'm saying how to encourage the people. And uh, tell him to be motivated and keep on doing what he can do. I want to really create one problem we have in China. I think young players who do not find the opportunity to further that their career to begin to be looking at other areas and to be supported by the government to, to, to coaching to some technical aspects of the game. So even though they are not able to continue with their career, they have other things. To, to contribute to the national uh, uh, game. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, uh, Michael from Spintex. And so, um, it's some words of motivation for you that there's, there's still a lot more ahead you can achieve. Uh, let, what happened at Legon Cities? Yeah, Legon Cities, um, there was nothing ba really bad that happened that made me terminate my contract. It was just a mutual concern. And I wanted to have a break and uh, at least work on myself a bit before I get Was it because of uh, lack of playing time? Because you're not getting playing time? Was that, the re was that part of the reason? Okay, it was one factor, but I don't think that made me terminate the corner because we are 30 players in the, in the team. It's not everybody that is going to get the opportunity to play. So if I was fortunate to get the uh, first two matches, I was being. Uh, I was in the first two matches. Uh, like it is After just the first like games, you didn't play any game for them. Yeah, yeah. So now you are clubless. What's the way forward? 
Yeah, for now I'm free and uh, my doors are open for any club that is ready to sign me. Uh, have clubs made contact yet? Yeah, so many clubs, but uh, we have to, uh, as I said earlier, you have to put them on a scale and see the one which is good for you. Mm. So that's what I'm waiting for now. Let me pick another call. Um, <coughs> Abraham is joining me from Able Kuma. Abraham, good afternoon. Good afternoon, boss. Uh, thanks for joining me alive. So uh, let's hear from you. I hope you'll be staying home from Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've contacted myself. Sure, sure. Now let's hear from you. <laughs> okay, uh, I congratulate you for such a program and I, I humbly tell my brother to stay cool. Uh, there's time for everything, so he will bounce back. He shouldn't worry. Okay. And I'll use your medium to advise. All uh, my friends and the family members who are watching me at, home, at this time that uh, they should stay at home and then take the necessary uh, measures and, and then let us all remain cool for the for because the the the, 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 the situation is very serious so okay. they should always stay at home and then take good care of themselves. Thank you very much. Robert. Thank you too, and I'm happy that uh, the message is 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 really sitting down well with most of us. Stay home. That is the message we are preaching this afternoon. Everybody is talking about the fact that we need to stay home. Abraham, uh, sorry, that Abraham was my caller. <laughs> Bismarck, uh, so the clubs you want to play for, now you are 19, you're still mm -hmm. young, there's still a lot more energy in you and there's still more football in you. Kotoko has, they are the two biggest clubs in, in Ghana. Most yeah. of players, uh, most of the players look at uh, getting a chance in these clubs. Which of them would you want to sign for? Any of them. Which club do you support? <laughs> I'm a phobian. You're a phobian? Yeah. But it's your profession, but, so yeah, it, it doesn't profession, matter so whether you play for Kotoko yeah. or Karate. Um, Balotelli was playing for Man City, but I do go to AC Milan, uh, Inter Milan's uh, meetings and things. So, <laughs> no, I support, but when I'm playing for Kotoko and we meet us, that's where I have to prove, prove myself that I'm a good player. A professional? Yeah. So um, I'll pick another call. Mame is joining me from Dome. All right, Mame, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. All right, thanks for joining me. Um, let's hear from you. You are live. Okay. Um, it's just an observation. Come again. Um, I, I, I wanted to talk to um, the guy sitting with you. Okay, Miss I just have an observation that um, next time if she's coming live on TV, it would just be polite for him to take off his earpiece before coming live on TV because it's not polite. All right. Uh, thanks for that. I'm sure he will, he will, he will, he will know that. Uh, did he hear her? Yeah. All right. So uh, that is his hearing aid. Maybe uh, that's, that's some bit of information for him. So that's his hearing aid. All right, so you're talking about uh, the club you want to play for, uh, yeah. Kotoko or, or, or Hart, and you, want to, you would yeah. want to play for all of in them. Your, yeah. Yeah. So how are you preparing to bounce back in, in all this, in all what's happening at this point? How are you preparing yourself to bounce back? Because yeah. uh, people expected you to, to be at a certain level, which you are not at this point. And how are you motivating yourself to? Yeah, yeah. Uh, first of all, thanks to Mr. Collins AJ. Can I pick another call? Um, Santo Estate. Simon is joining me. Simon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. I hope you've keeping all. Uh, you've taken note of all the protocols you need to observe in this Corona pandemic. Good afternoon, sir. All right. I can hear you, Simon. Can you hear me? Hello, Simon. Um. Simon, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Please lower the volume on your TV set, okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Lower the volume on your TV set. You can, you can hear me Hello? from your phone. Yeah. You can hear me from your handset, so lower the volume on your TV set. Let's hear from you. All right. Um, we are struggling with Simon's line there. Uh, I think that we will pick other calls when, as and when we get them. Um, so let's, let's talk about how you're preparing yourself to bounce mm -hmm. back. We want to see you back at the level, at the standard you set for yourself. Mm. Yeah, as I said earlier, thanks to Mr. Collins, Ajay, Mr. Rashid, and uh, Mr. Kwabina Mensah, aka Bob, 
above. Yeah, they, they have been motivating me a lot, day in and day out. They, they do call me, tell me that, oh, we know you can, you can make it. So start training, work, work hard, and the, the sky is always your limit. Okay. All right, Felix is joining me from Dodo. Felix, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, you're live. Let's hear from you. Yeah, please lower the volume on your TV set and uh, let's chat. All right. Um, uh, let me sound this to all those who want to join in the program. Please, if you call, just lower the volume on your TV set. You can hear me from your handset, okay? So let's chat through your handset and lower the volume on your TV set. Another caller. Um, all right. Hello. 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 Yeah, good afternoon. What's hello, your name and where are you calling me from? Hello. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. I can hear you. Um, if you're going to continue like this, maybe I would have to end the phone call. But let's pick two or three more calls. Lower the volume on your TV set and then we can have a, a chat through your handset, okay? Uh, do you have another caller? Okay. All right, let's get back to uh, Bismarck here. So I'm here with Bismarck Ferry Owusu. Uh, Simon is back on the line. Simon from Estates, Santor Estates. Simon, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. All right, now you are clear, and uh, let's hear you. Oh, okay, okay. I just want to congratulate you for how best you uh, have spread the news of the coronavirus. All right. Is that all you want to say? Thank you, too. And I hope that uh, you keep it and practice it as it is. Stay home. That is the message I'm preaching today. That's my message <laughs> this afternoon. Stay home, Ghana. Bismarck, yes. we are staying home. How Hello. has corona affected you? <laughs> I mean, away from your personal career and uh, what's happening around it. It's Seriously. affecting us all. Seriously, this, this virus has affected me a lot. Training now. I think it has affected me more than every Ghanaian. Mm. How? <laughs> because, you see... We footballers, we do travel a lot, and uh, this virus has closed all doors for every footballer to go out mm. or to go and play a f a football. And now, if you are home, you have to train on your own. You can't get close to a friend or train with a friend. Maybe you don't, you don't know something, you need a friend to teach you. I'll pick my last caller, okay, and then uh, the rest will be here. Big Boss Hello. from Abokobi. Good afternoon. Afternoon. How are you doing? How's life? How's life? Um, I'm very fine and I'm coping under Corona. I hope you are too. All right, good. Uh, I beg you, tell my guy say uh, this thing can never be changed. I repeat it again. This thing can never be changed. So this, let him keep on moving. This what? Okay, my guy. Come again. Come again with your point. I'm telling him to move forward. This thing can never be seen. Okay. That's okay. what I asked for him. All right. Uh, destiny can never be seen or changed. I don't. I, I didn't really get that. He says you have to move forward. Your destiny can never be changed. People are confident in the talent you you, you have. Uh, so please, you have to also work hard to to get back and. And I mean, the confidence reposed in you, you have to pay them back with that confidence that has been reposed in you. Mm -hmm. So now the future is unclear because you don't know where you are moving to. Of course. But have you had calls from foreign teams? As yes. Well? As I said earlier, the calls have been coming day in and day out. Mm. But it's, it's up to my manager, Mr. Collins, AJ, to. When did he come in? You mentioned about managerial problems when yeah. he came from the India tournament. Yeah. It may, so when did Colin C.J. come in? Uh, Colin C.J. came uh, last year, around July. So all that time, July, you didn't have a manager? Yes. You didn't have a manager? Yes. How crucial is football managers in the career of a footballer? Okay. In the um, decisions you make? Yeah, of course. Uh, there is no way you are going to take a manager who you are older than. So definitely you take an old person mm. to be your manager and uh, that person is going to advise you, make sure you take a good decision and help you financially before you get a club. So um, a manager also 
like communicate with the agent on behalf of the player because you the player your job is to be on the field mm. to play so it's the manager who will be doing the underground work for you communicating with your uh, agent to work hard for you so if a player is talking to an agent uh, he will be a div divided mind okay. so he cannot get the uh, the concentration so you to were play talking the to agents yourself yeah, yeah. They, they do call me they do call me but what i, I tell them is uh, for now uh, you have to talk to my manager i have to talk to my manager so they will be asking me so who is your manager let's talk to your manager mm. because sometimes too if you don't have a manager the agents want to, will take opportunity of that yeah. and so now mr uh, charles mr collins a j collins a j is, is doing all Frank the good work did you make money after the uh, the boots tournaments the afcon and the, and the world cup <laughs> as for the money issue i don't want to talk about it you made money but you don't want to talk yeah. about it um, I'll give you a minute to wrap up. We are almost uh, out of time. So yeah. what do you have to say? What do you have to tell your fans that Bismarck, it's not all over, life is not mm. over. You're still young, 19 years, you still have a, a lot of things to do in the future and even get to the, the top hierarchy. Mm. You want to play in Spain and Germany. So look into the comments. Tell your fans, uh, I mean, tell them something. Motivate them. Yeah. You, you are self-motivated yeah. yourself. I thank all my fans for the support they have been giving me since the tournament, the AFCON, the World Cup and everything. And I want to assure them that things are not over yet. They should keep supporting me, and they will see me at the highest level. And also, I want to thank Mr. Bob, Mr. Bob Mensa. Okay. He's called Kabna Mensa, but we do call him Bob. Your dad? No, he's a manager to me, like a personal manager. You have other somehow. managers, all yeah. right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, uh, so Bismarck uh, Terry Ousu has been my guest on the show today. Uh, this is the sports world. We've been preaching safety measures in, this, in, in, the, in the midst of this corona period or in the wake of this corona pandemic. You need to stay safe. From Monday, Ghana will be under partial lockdown. 1 a.m. on Monday, Accra, Kumase, Kaswa, and Tema. No movement unless you're part of the medical team or you sell food or other essential commodities. But for your sake, don't go out. And Italian will say, yes, the cast too. So, like I always say, choose hope over fear. And don't be afraid. My name is Dennis, Dennis Osei Jemfi. Thanks for being my guest this afternoon. Uh, a happy birthday to Nice, my makeup artist. Happy, happy birthday to you, Nice. Today is your birthday. We know that. Uh, uh, floor, my floor manager and production assistant, nice, and I'm sure that after this, uh, the birthday celebration will go uh, on. Benis Togo, uh, my director, is correcting me on that. Nice, Ben. Thanks once again for being a part of this show. Catch us same time next week from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. for another exciting edition. Until then, please stay home. Stay home, Ghana. Wash your hands under running water with soap. Use alcohol-based sanitizer and distance yourself socially. Until then, for me, to you and the rest of the team, it's au revoir.